6, the GBI is now shutting its investigation into a traffic stop in Holly Springs where the officer and suspect were both killed. The agency finding the officer did nothing wrong and for the first time it's releasing video from the confrontation. Joe Kinky is here to walk us through it all and explain why the suspect likely fled. Joe? Jennifer, the 251 page report from the GPI details the incident last June and the lengthy investigation that followed. It also includes a letter from the Cherokee County District Attorney stating Officer Joe Burson's actions were justified. Video just released to 11 Alive shows 29 year old Anzi Dull stepping out of a car captured here on Holly Springs Police Officer Joe Burson's body camera. The GBI report indicates Sergeant Andrew Drake pulled over Dulce for driving 72 in a 40 mile per hour zone. What's in your pockets? The GBI report shows Dulce gave officers his brother's name and identifies Dulce as a MMA fighter with a criminal history and also a member of the Bloods gang. Records show he was on parole in New York for robbery and had an open domestic violence case with his wife in Illinois. 20 months before this traffic stop, he removed a court ordered GPS device. And days before this incident, marshals went to his mother's house looking for him. At this point in the video from the traffic stop, Dulce asks if he can call his mother or a lawyer. Officer Burson tells him he has to wait. Why do you need a lawyer if what you're telling us is true. You guys Why? I'm sorry? I know the drill. You said you smell pot, so we just searched the car. Investigators would later find these bags in Dulce's car with a leafy substance. Is there pot in there? How much? No, no, no. Dole Just... starts walking toward the car. Burson tells him to stop, and Drake tries to handcuff Dulce, and then he runs. After getting in his car, Dulce is tased and drives off with Burson hanging out of it. Drake calls for help. Moments later, the GBI report details Burson shooting Dulce multiple times, the car hitting the guardrail and crashing into the ditch. Both died from their injuries. After receiving the GBI's investigation, Cherokee County DA Shannon Wallace wrote, Burson's actions were justified under Georgia law, and if Dulce was alive, this office would have pursued a prosecution against him for murder as well as other charges. For both the GBI and the Cherokee County DA, this case is now closed. We have those newly released videos from this incident right now on the 11 Alive YouTube page. Jeff. All right.